lot of people think this man is a future UFC champion. I'm not going to go that far just yet, but in terms of putting together a modern-day mixed martial arts athlete into one package, this kid can do it all. Yeah, because you watch what you say. Guys like me will just agree with this guy's a future champion, but your word holds value, so you won't do that. But every now and again, there comes a guy that seems to have it. This guy has it. This guy, when you look at him, you see a championship belt around his waist because he can do it all. He's got high-level wrestling, high-level tap, high-level striking. He reminds me of Kamaru Usman. Yeah. There was no I wonder with Usman. It was when will it happen. This guy possesses that type of skill. And he has sort of a championship aura, right? He walks into our fighter meeting methodically managing yes. his energy. Seems to be the total package. Obviously a perfect test for him right here, right now at this stage of his career. champion in wrestling as a freshman, second as a sophomore, and it didn't wrestle anymore because he wanted to focus on boxing. A A-plus athlete who has done it all in all sports and has the mental ability and the physical ability to once again compete for a UFC title. Some will knock his fighting style when the going gets a little bit tough, but he is as exciting as any bantamweight in the world and looking to prove again that he is among this division's elite. for this Phantom Weight Scrap. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one just about to get underway. 32 and 1 is an amateur boxer. He's had five wins by knockout now as a mixed martial artist. Seven of those have come in the opening round. So you can't sleep on no love in the early going. Cody Garbrandt, he'll sustain a pace over 15 or 25 minutes, but he's a very fast starter. Opponent better watch out for that right hand from Cody Hero. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Dripping now from the lip. Well, you know, Cody Garbrandt's uncle, Robert Meese, there in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew's stand-up. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Oh, nice elbow. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Cody Garbrandt. Bicycle, John. 
one. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Just over. Oh! And that's how you finish a fight. Oh, Humpteen steps in. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cody No Longer Well, this is a man who can truly do it all inside that octagon, and he proved that yet again here tonight. Congratulations to the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Cody Garbrandt. No longer undefeated, but still on his best night. Looks the part of one of the best 135ers in the world. And don't be surprised to see him at the post-fight press conference call for an immediate title shot. He certainly did everything in his power to earn that here tonight.